In this video, we are going to be talking about each and every and either, neither, both, and all. This information can be found in your book in Chapter 8 on pages 140 and 141. Each is mainly used before singular, non-specific count nouns. You can use each with a non-count noun, but you need a quantifier before the noun. Let's look at some examples. An example of a sentence with each used in a singular count noun would be each student in the class has to get a 70% or higher to pass. And an example with a non-count singular noun. Now, we can't use each before all non-count nouns. There are certain categories that are not allowed. Those categories are found on page 94 of your book. And the categories not allowed are the non-count nouns that belong to the category of gases and natural phenomenon. Now, if we look at the sentences below, every country's air is polluted. This is okay. So, countries is a possessive plural noun, and air is a gas, and it's following a noun, so this is okay. But we can't put the word air right after the word every. Another example of a non-count singular noun would be if I say each piece of cake has a different taste. So piece of is a quantifier that we can use before the non-count noun of cake. When do we use the word each? Well, each is used when we are talking about two or more of the same noun. We use each when we view or look at these nouns individually. So if you see this picture here, we have a group of students. If I want to think about these students as individual students that make up a group, I would use each. In this picture, do you see the female student with the orange sweater around her shoulders? She is in a group of students, but I am looking at her individually. So in my mind, I separate her from the rest of the students. Why would I view things individually? Well, there are many reasons why you might view things individually. For example, a teacher may plan a lesson that is good for all of the students. However, maybe two or more of the students are having problems in class. So the teacher might think of ways to help these individuals do better in class. For example, the teacher may give these students some extra practice work to help them. Or the teacher might send students to a tutor for some individual help. Now let's look at every. Every is used before singular count nouns, and it's used with three or more of the same noun. Every is used when you view the same noun as a group, and not individually. When you use not, you can use every, but you can't use the word not before each. So I can say every computer was sold. But I can't say not each computer was sold. Why would a person use every? Well, let's look at this picture. This picture of a, is, a, is of a class with students. Now, when teachers plan their lesson, they often view or think of their class as a group of students. They often plan a lesson that is best for the group. We also have a picture here of a closet full of clothes. Often, when we think of the clothes we own, we use every. 
So I might say, every piece of clothing I have is colorful. So we have specific nouns and using each and every. In English, we have the phrases each of and every one. These are used when we are talking about a specific noun. They are followed by a plural count noun or a plural or plural pronouns. And we use a third person singular verb in these sentences with each of and every one. For example, if I say, my friends are coming to the party. Another way of saying this is every one of them are coming to the party. So these would be three or more friends. And then if I say each of them are coming to the party, this would be two or more friends. Either and neither. Either is used to talk about a choice. So you have to choose one thing and you have two or more choices. For example, I might say, you can either wear a skirt, pants, or a dress to work. You can only choose one. Neither is used to tell us that there is no choice. None of the options are available to you. Now, you can't use negative words like don't and can't with the word neither, because neither already has a negative meaning. So I could say, Neither a skirt, pants, or a dress are allowed to be worn at work. I can also say, I wore neither a skirt, nor pants, nor a dress to work. So neither can start a sentence, or it is usually used in the middle of a sentence with a past tense verb. Both and all. Both is used when you have two choices and you choose both of them. I wore both my shirt and my sweater to school together because it was cold. Both of is a phrase that's used with plural count nouns or plural pronouns. Both of my classes were canceled today because of the weather. Both of them were canceled today because of the weather. So I can take the noun classes and I can replace it with the pronoun them. Now let's look at all. All is used when we have two or more of things and you choose all of them. For example, I have 10 friends. All of them are coming to my party, which means 10 friends are coming. I can say there are 15 students in my class. All, they all were absent on Friday, which means all 15 students were gone on Friday. This concludes this video.